Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is Michael's birthday and I'm going to head to the store to get some ingredients right now because I'm going to be making him an apple strudel, specifically Queenie's because I asked him the other day what he wanted for his birthday and he mentioned like apple pie and ice cream and I was like, it's not really birthday related, but it's fine. The guy knows what he wants. So I'm going to go to the store and get the ingredients that I need and then we're going to come back and hopefully I can put it together in in the right amount of time because he's at work and he's coming home right now um, not right now but he will be on his way and I don't know what I'm feeding him for dinner so that's also an issue not really sure what we're making I'm also using Rosanna Pensino's recipe it's going to be like a cooking show like you know experience for me I'm back from my trip and I also decided what I'm going to make him for dinner so his favorite meal as far as I know is stuffed cabbage his mom makes it and it's really really good like we eat so many of those stuffed cabbages when she makes it I don't know the recipe but I did find one online so I'm going to attempt to make it hopefully it goes well he should be leaving work soon so I have to like do a bunch of stuff really fast I think I'm going to start on the dough first because that has to rest for 30 minutes but the stuffed cabbage also takes a long time so I really don't know what I'm going to do but I'm very excited so I'm going to get started with all of my projects probably not going to film just because it's just going to be a cooking montage and I don't know what I'm doing I'm just like throwing all the stuff in the pot or whatever So I've been in the kitchen forever. The stuffed cabbage is in the oven, it's cooking. I have 30 minutes left of it in there. And I'm currently about to roll out the dough for the strudel and I have a filling ready. Just apples and raisins. And then I think that's it. Hopefully when that's done, I'll be able to pop this in the oven. And yeah, my feet kind of hurt. I'm very hungry. I've been here forever, but it's fine. I am really excited for him to come home and eat and have his treat. So I'll see you guys when it's all done. So I am currently stretching out the dough. It's very difficult. It's so thin. I don't know how they did it in the video because they were both holding it and mine kind of broke. So I had to like roll it back together. I'm going to be cutting off the strips from here so I can make the pretty braid. And then I get to start filling. I'm so excited. That'll be done in 23 minutes. You should be home soon. I'm so hungry. So I'm like excited to finish this up and start snacking on something. <laughs> Got him some sweatpants. And then we have these, but these are like jogger pants. We'll see, you had black ones like that, I just don't know. <laughs> it's changing the color of the lamp. He's home. And we're going to eat. I present to you your dinner. Mystery food. <laughs> Good. I hope it's good. It's getting gourmet over here. Look at this presentation. It's such a good job. Thank you. It's so good. Thank you. I feel like it's gonna be a lot harder. It's not that hot? No. Okay, cool. This is the golden combo right here. Sriracha mm -hmm. and Italian dressing. Everybody try it. It could be any <laughs> hot sauce really. It's yeah. Italian it. Michael puts it on everything and it's awesome. Mm -hmm. So there's a secret that I need to tell Michael and I can't tell him the coincidence that I found unless I show him what's in the oven. So it actually has 30 minutes left. I'm going to pull it out so he can see it and then I'm going to tell him the secret. So let's go to the kitchen. I dropped my glove here. You take that. You know. Okay, here we is. Whoa. 
Do you know what it is? It looks... Is it in Harry Potter? It is. Kind of. When somebody was... <laughs> it's in... Freak. <laughs> no, I know it. It's in... Newt Scamander. Fantastic Beast. Fantastic Beast. When she's preparing yes, the dessert at the end. Yes, for Jacob. There it is. Yeah. Oh, go. that's great. That's so cool. Did you use magic to make it? I wish. Oh my gosh. These apples. These things. I wish there was a spell to make these. Mm. Because it was so difficult. Mm. I don't know. They look cool though. So, it's time to clean up. We're all full. And that has to be forgotten for another 30 minutes. This is like almost an hour long of baking. That's okay though. Alright. The chef. <laughs> Action. <laughs> it's been recording for like so, 10 seconds. The secret is, well, that was an apple strudel. Queenie's apple strudel. And the secret is, I just realized that both of the things that I made today involve rolling. <laughs> I was like, I feel like I've been rolling so much today. Oh I rolled a bunch of cabbage. I had to roll that thing up. It was so difficult. So yeah, I think that's funny. <laughs> You're not laughing. <laughs> I am laughing. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna finish my food. What are you pointing at? Casey's birthday. Two <laughs> <laughs> cats. I don't know, you just started running. Me by come back. Do cats like peanut butter? No? You wanna you don't wanna try it? He's not into it guys. Let's put on a treat. First we gotta test Kiyomi. Right. There he is, he's coming! He's coming for the treat. Oh my god! He just ran into it. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys are just not into the peanut butter. We have the peanut butter on a treat. Any takers? Like, what is this? Okay, I'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Levi ate. Oh. No, no, he didn't. He's confused. Okay. All right. Is your mouth sticky now? <laughs> so peanut butter is a dog thing, not a Kiyomi or Levi thing. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Here you go, kill me, kill me, kill me. Oh. Peanut butter is not toxic to cats, but if they ingest a large amount, it will result in diarrhea and vomiting. <laughs> That's all the peanut butter you guys get. So I ordered something from Amazon, and it is so life changing. Michael's using it right now. It's called the Body Back Buddy. Ugh. No, yeah, Body Back Buddy. And I was using it last night and I laid down to go to sleep and my back just felt so good. So he's currently working on, oh, your neck. Okay. I like working on this area. Okay. So yeah, I'm just waiting my turn right now. That's how it feels. That's my <laughs> turn. All day. <laughs> It's your birthday, it's okay. Oh. I think you're using the wrong one. I saw the picture. So you're supposed to get trigger points. It was like 30 bucks from Amazon. But I heard you can get them at Bed Bath & Beyond. Trigger points? Yeah. All right, it's time to have some of the strudel. Toaster strudel. Here she is. The roses are not red because the skin turned um, lighter when I microwaved it, but it looks so beautiful. Also, I have two braids because I could not get a long enough braid. That was so difficult, it kept breaking. Yeah, three knives. What does the inside look like? You ready? Oh, it's supposed to be bigger apple pieces, but I didn't know. <laughs> Yes. 
<gasps> she, I mean, <laughs> you, can, yeah. you can say that. Let's see how this recipe went. Maniac right now, I don't, can't even scoop it. The crust is okay. Inside's great. The insides. The insides. Sorry about the lighting. This, uh, the hue lights just, you know, make things complicated. I feel like I have to bite. vanilla ice cream mm -hmm. so it's been a little bit so I've just been relaxing and watching YouTube videos Michael's in the room relaxing he has work tomorrow so I am going to go relax with him I'm so excited to wash my face and get into bed it's only nine o'clock but I'm super tired I was in the kitchen for so long making all the stuff but it was so worth it and I'm happy he had a nice birthday um, the next vlog will be super exciting. We are going to New York City. We're going to see a very special play. I don't know if you guys know or seeing, but it's uh, a dream come true for me for sure. I think for him too. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that vlog. As far as the strudel goes, I don't think I'll be doing that recipe again. I do want to try a different dough recipe. Then again, have I had a strudel before? I don't really know. Um, Maybe I've had one, but the crust was not my favorite. I'll definitely still enjoy it and eat it and everything, but I do want to try a different one in the future. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm really excited to edit it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.